It's time for Ask the Tech Guy. Coming up, can you still get Windows 10 for free? Stay tuned. This is Twit. Ask the Tech Guy is brought to you by LastPass, the number one most preferred password manager. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. Just got a question from Jim and Aptos, but it's a question everybody's asking. Hi, it's Leo Laporte. I'm the tech guy. And Jim wrote, I went to, online to Microsoft and I couldn't get Windows 10 for free. I talked to support. They didn't know what I was talking about. What's the secret? This comes up now a lot because, as probably most of you know, Windows 7 is going to go out of support on January 14th. 2020. That means no more tech support calls. That means no no more support information online. And most importantly, it means Microsoft is going to stop putting out updates. That last patch Tuesday, January 14th, is the last time you'll get any fixes for Windows 7. And as time goes by, as a result, it'll be more and more dangerous to use Windows 7 online. Now, you can't get Windows 10 absolutely free, but if you ever used Windows 7 you might be in luck. There are two ways to get Windows 10 for free as an upgrade to Windows 7. You may remember in the first year of Windows 10, Microsoft made a big deal. Anybody using Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 can upgrade for free. After one year, they said, that's it, no more. But they did a funny thing. <laughs> they didn't block it. And here we are, four years later, and it's still a free upgrade. But that's the key. It's an upgrade for a Windows 7 installation. If you're looking at a computer that's wanting Windows 7 today and you're concerned about January 14th and that deadline, this would be a very good time to download a copy of Windows 10. You can easily do it if you just Google Windows Media Creation Tool. It's a Microsoft site, and that's very important. Only get it from Microsoft. <laughs> Probably there'll be bad guys out there who will offer a Windows Media Creation Tool. <laughs> for free, uh, but it's not Windows. So make sure you're going to Microsoft.com. You're going to see, uh, you may get asked a few questions, but ultimately you'll see this screen. It'll say download Windows 10 disk image. That's what you want. You're going to need an 8 gigabyte USB key to put this Windows image on, and you're going to need to be able to boot your computer from that USB key. Uh, some older computers may not boot to a USB key. You might need a USB drive or even a CD-ROM. You can use any of those. But you'll need to have a way to tell that computer, I don't want to boot up to the internal hard drive. I want to boot up to this installation medium. This is what you're creating is Windows 10 installation. Now, if you have a Windows 7 serial number, you can enter that in when it asks for it. But you don't need to any, enter any serial number. You can download and install the Windows 10 Media Creation Tool, run it in your Windows 7, and burn a USB key. You've got to do it with Microsoft's instructions because you have to make a bootable USB key. And then restart your machine, booting to that USB drive. The Windows 10 installer will, installer will launch. If you have Windows 7 already installed, just go ahead and do the upgrade from that USB key. It'll say, I see Windows is on here. Do you want me to upgrade? You say, go ahead and do it. Here's the key. In the past, Microsoft kind of implied that once that one-year promotional offer ended, you'd do this, Windows 10 would install, but it wouldn't activate, except it still does. So after you finish the installation, your machine is running Windows 10, Windows 7 is now hidden away, my suggestion is you look at the system properties. Easiest way to do that is Windows key X. Look at system and see if you've activated. That means, and you can only do this when you're online, that the, the newly upgraded Windows 10 on your computer went to the Microsoft servers, said, hey, is it okay? Am I authorized? And apparently Microsoft servers are being very lenient. They're saying, yeah, go ahead. And your system is activated. Once any computer has an authorized version of Windows 10 running on it, you can do anything you want. If at that point you say, well, I want a clean install, go ahead and wipe the hard drive. Buy a new hard drive. Put it in. Use that same USB Windows installation disk. Install Windows 10 again. Now you've got a clean install of Windows and it's authorized. 
for no cost. This is a loophole, it seems. And for everyone we've talked to, and Paul Thorat and Mary Jo Foley agree, so does Ed Bott, this seems to work. If it doesn't work, if you can't get activated or authorized, you can always roll back to Windows 7 and either take your chances come January 14th or spend the 130 bucks and buy a new copy of Windows 10. But I would try this method. Uh, there's no risk, no harm. Of course, as always, anytime you're doing a major system upgrade, it's a great idea to back up your data, back up your hard drive first. So I have to say that. But Jim, this is the technique that you'll use to get a free upgrade to Windows 10. And honestly, I think Microsoft's doing this because we all need to upgrade to Windows 10. Microsoft wants to get you off of Windows 7. That's why they're not supporting it anymore. They want the vast universe of a billion and a half Windows users to all be using Windows 10. That makes it easier for them to maintain security. It makes it easier to, for developers to know, you know what applications to write. They don't have to worry about making them work with older versions. It's good for everybody. And I think you're going to like Windows 10. A lot of the negative features of Windows 8 have been hidden away. It looks a lot like Windows 7. In fact, if you want to make it look almost exactly like Windows 7, just delete those tiles in the Start menu. You can right-click on them all and, and delete them or uninstall the ones you can uninstall. And then you'll have a kind of traditional Windows 7-style Start menu. You might even forget you're not that you're running Windows 10, you're not running Windows 7. A very important upgrade. And going forward, you'll continue to get security patches and fixes. You can even call Microsoft for support because you have an authorized version of Windows 10. This is a good thing for everybody. I think Microsoft's doing the right thing. Don't tell anybody, but they have left the authorization server on, and everybody should be able to upgrade from Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 for free. Great question, Jim. I'm glad you asked. Now, let me tell you about our sponsor, the great LastPass. With LastPass, you only need one master password and let LastPass take care of the rest. We use it at Twit. Their business lineup includes single sign-on technology, and they go beyond standard two-factor authentication by using biometrics, geolocation, and other methods. And my favorite part of LastPass, the LastPass Security Challenge, which will go through all your passwords and show you exactly which passwords are putting you at risk and how to fix them. LastPass.com slash Twit. Find out how they can help you. LastPass.com slash twit that's it for this episode of ask the tech guy we'll be back next week if you have a burning question email ask the tech guy at twit.tv maybe i'll be answering it for you next week i'm leo laporte thanks for watching we'll see you next time stumped on a nasty tech conundrum email ask the tech guy at twit.tv